Hello everyone, so welcome to today's video. We are decluttering my makeup. We're finally getting to this to-do list of mine and one of the items on that list is going through my collection, organizing, wiping everything down, getting it all nice and neat, getting rid of the products that are taking up space that I'm not using, products that I do not like. And so I'm gonna show you my drawers. I'm gonna film the clips and show you what I have, what's going away, organizing a little bit. It's not quite there yet where I want it to be, but it's looking a little bit better than it was, so it's a win. At least in my book, I take it as a win. I'm gonna show you the products, kind of showing you what I'm gonna be decluttering, and then I'm going to do a video, which is the look that I'm wearing right now. It's already been filmed. So you'll probably be seeing that maybe separately, or I may plug them in and just create a long video today showing you the declutter, what's leaving, and then the tutorial. But I think I'm gonna separate into the two separate videos because I think that might be a little bit better and keep them from being too long. But a lot of these products I have to get rid of. I don't use them. Some of them are old that should be disposed of because they're probably expired and no longer um, safe to use anymore. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through my drawers and get rid of these products. I hope that this is helpful. And if you want to declutter with me, then just continue watching. So here's the top drawer that I have on this side of my vanity with the left side. And this is the drawer that holds all of my primers. I had them just in this little container here, but it's starting to overflow. Then I have setting sprays, some sunscreen options, a couple more setting sprays, um, a backup of the Kosas powder and the Maybelline Fit Me, which I have forgotten about. It's been sitting in the drawer for the longest time. So I did pull some things forward that were in the back. And this is a sample packet of the Tom Ford Primer, I did like that and I'm keeping it because I want to remember to buy that at some point. But this drawer here, I think is the one that needs to be tackled and sifted through. So just kind of some random showing you some of them. The Fenty, this is fairly new. So I'm gonna keep this one. Small little poreless putty primer, I think would be good to keep as well. This is the Benefit Professional, the Hydrate Primer. I had gotten like a little mini set a long time ago. I think it was actually, this um, setting spray with some primer samples that were in this size container. And the, I think it was the light version was just really bad. I, I just could not. So this one, I don't think I've even used it. So I think this is gonna be part of my declutter. Some e.l.f. primers, I do like these and, and I enjoy using them. So I will keep these for my drugstore videos. I definitely have to keep this. This is my favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, my label has been almost completely rubbed off because I love it so much. I use the shade One Fair, and this was one of my very first products that I ever purchased. I do believe it's worth the hype. It's worth the money. And there are some dupes out there, but honestly, I always choose this over the dupes because the this is just, this is just great. This one's gonna go as well, the Lorac Pro Glass Skin. I've had this for almost two and a half years at this point, and I think it's time to get rid of it because it's probably just not going to function as well. This actually leaves the skin really soft, very velvety and smooth, so I do like this. I just haven't reached for it, obviously, because I feel like it's gone bad. But this one is a product that you can get on the Lorac website. They used to be sold many years ago in Ulta stores when I used to work for Ulta, but they no longer carry this brand. I don't know if they carry most of the products still on the website but in store they don't have the gondolas anymore but an interesting little fact about the brand Lorac is actually the owner's or founder's name carol spelled backwards so that's pretty neat this i think it's going to go to this is a sample of the rare beauty primer this i thought was actually a liquid highlighter but it's not it is a very 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 dewy luminous primer like a face primer and I had been using it the times that I tried it as a highlighter. And until I actually read it, and I will turn it around, it's the Illuminating Primer. This is not a highlighter, okay? So it's very dewy, I'm not gonna use it, so that's gonna go into my stash of declutter. This I like and will continue to use, so that's staying. This, I don't get along with. This is going to the trash. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Cali Ray. I have another one, a backup, so that one is staying. This one is gonna stay as well. I love this. These are staying because I do like them and I like to keep them for my drugstore videos. And then this actually 
is from Jaclyn Cosmetics, and it's a hydrating under eye primer. I never used it, but the brand is shutting down, so I guess this goes in the trash. And so setting sprays, I have a few, like this is pretty much almost empty, so I'm gonna leave that on my vanity to finish that one before I start using my backup, which is actually already on my vanity. And so I have some setting sprays. The Milani Make It Last, if any of you have tried this, let me know if you like it. The second ingredient is denatured alcohol, which is very, very drying on the skin. And I don't know if I feel comfortable putting that on my skin, especially in the areas where I do have dryness. I feel like it would definitely over dry my skin. And I don't know, it's just like putting regular alcohol on your face. I just don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> so I've kept it because I keep considering it. It was a gift with purchase on the Milani website a while back. If you spend a certain amount, you got a free gift and that was it at the time. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Next up is Cali Ray Surf Proof. I did purchase this in full size. I actually like this. It's got a nice kind of summer scent to it and it worked well. I wouldn't say that this is replacing my Charlotte Tilbury, but I would say those would be my top two choices if I had to pick two setting sprays to continuously use and repurchase. This setting spray from Milk, I think I'm gonna have to put it in my decolor. I've used it a few times, but I feel like this does have a little bit of like an oily consistency. When you let this product sit, you will see how it starts to separate. And so when you shake it as it looks right now, it looks like a light blue, really pretty color, but I feel like it's just a little too oily for my preference. So I will put it in my stash on my vanity to try that again. Here's another one that is pretty neat as well. It kind of separates the iconic London. You shake it up and it creates a really dewy uh, setting spray. So I think I might try this as a setting spray to prep my skin and give a glow beforehand. Here's a couple SPF options. I'm gonna keep them. It's important to use SPF always. I wanna use the e.l.f. one a little bit more. Um, it's supposed to be a dupe for the super goop one. So I like the super goop. It's kind of like a sunscreen and a glowy makeup base in one. So it kind of tackles two different steps. I will keep them both. I like the small one from the Super Goop for touch-ups for on the go, but I do wanna continue trying the e.l.f. one, so I'm gonna keep it. I am kind of very finicky when it comes to SPF because certain ones do break me out, so I'm gonna kind of continue testing that one out and see how I feel Okay, about so it. here we are in my foundation concealer powder drawer. As you can see, it goes all the way to the back and it's a mess. It's a hot mess. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. So here's the section of my foundations. I do have some on my vanity that I need to put back. Um, my Armani Luminous Soak is my all-time favorite. The Skin Tint from Beauty Blender is super radiant and hydrating and beautiful. Hourglass Charlotte Tilbury Estee Lauder, the new one from CoverGirl. This is this one here is my NARS Light Reflecting. The Rare Beauty, I think this has got to go. This shade is so wrong for me. It's 110N and it's it's almost white. So this is going in my declutter. This also, um, I haven't used these enough. Um, I probably should shake it up and see how this looks. I don't know. The last few times that I used these, let me get it in focus here. Come on camera. The last few times that I used this Flawless Creator Drops from Dermablend, I noticed that my foundation looked really dry. So I don't know what the deal is. This is supposed to be pure pigment drops that you can intensify the pigment or the coverage of your product. So this is supposed to blend into anything, foundations, concealers, primers, moisturizers. The concept and idea is great. However, I don't know if I like this formula. The SPF, this is Color Science. This is one of my favorites. It's a tinted SPF, and I like how it makes the skin look nice and glowy. It adds nice coverage, and I use this in place of foundation when I'm on vacation, and then I just use concealer with that. So I'm keeping that. NYX, I'm keeping that one for my drugstore videos. This is a Dior concealer. I ordered shade 1N and this was too dark. It's brand new, so I'm gonna keep it and use it. I do love this formula though. In the back, I have this one from Revlon. This is shade 105 in the Illuminance. And I have not even used it. The seal is still on there. I think I may have matched myself incorrectly. It looks quite yellow on camera, but in person, it looks very, very porcelain. So this might be the wrong shade. This product, I don't use it as often as I thought um, for Makeup Forever. I've kept it to try to make myself use it. I honestly think it was a waste of 80 bucks. I'm gonna add my Smashbox to it because I love that. I have my NARS Gobi, the soft matte, put that in there as well. So here's another product. This is the Beautiful Skin from Charlotte. I wear a shade 2 neutral, and that's a really nice shade for me. 
I want to use it. I've used quite a bit of it. Like the tube is getting thin, but it is starting to separate. So I think I have to get rid of that one. And then this product, I have completely forgotten about it. I cannot even believe it. This is the Vision Cover Cream from Danessa Myricks. This is full, full coverage. So if you have like a sheer foundation, a skin tint, or a light coverage foundation, and you just need to amp it up a little bit, that's what this is for. You use it, I mean, you can use this on its own. It's extremely full coverage and it's a very small product compared to concealer and foundation size bottles and packaging it's really small but you need the tiniest little bit to get full coverage so i think i need to use this again maybelline she stays iconic london i think i'm ready to let this go it's good it's sheer but um i don't really care for the tone too much and it's the caramel glow and i think it makes my skin a little too radiant serum concealer from nyx the bear with me that stays that's really good Armani, gotta stay. Love that. Keep. I'm keeping these for sure. <laughs> uh, this is the Rare Beauty Brightener. I am going to probably declutter this one. Same with the concealer. This shade is just off. This is the Physician's Formula Corrector, this peach shade, as they call it. It's actually orange, so ugh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I got to think about this. Not the right color, but a nice formula, and I will keep. House Labs, keeping it. Elf, I think I'm keeping for my drugstore videos. This never really worked for me this is going and look it's already separated disgusting these are staying this is my absolute favorite formula the huda beauty faux filter luminous matte yes yes and yes this one from clinique i haven't used enough to really say if it's good or not i think maybe two uses max this is going to go in my declutter to give it an honest shot before i decide whether it stays or goes charlotte tilbury beautiful skin yes stays love these are staying, absolutely. I don't know about this. I may keep it to try it again with something that, um, like a concealer that's really, really light and try to mix the two to kind of make it work. But I think ultimately this may have to be a declutter. So I've got some correctors here. Um, Charlotte Tilbury stays. Bobbi Brown I think has to go. Um, it's That one is old. So is my Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't reach for the Bobbi Brown one as much. This is a brightener from NARS. That stays because that's fairly recent to my collection. This is also new from Physicians Formula. This has been in my collection for just like two months at this point. This is part of their 2024 collection line. So I do want to try it again. It's supposed to be a BB cream, but it's very luminous. So to me, it's more of like a Hollywood Flawless Filter type of product. So here's a few other concealers that I'm going to add to the mix. Um, these were on my vanity from a previous shop, my stash. So the Born This Way, I think I'm gonna declutter that one. The Rose Ink, I do like this one. It's a nice hydrating formula and it has really nice coverage. It looks really pretty. I just need to use it more, so I'm gonna keep that. And I am gonna keep the Magic uh, Touch Concealer from ABH. So here's two more products to add to the bunch as well. These were on my vanity and my makeup bag. This is the Merit Complexion Stick and the CC Nude Glow. Um, both of these are really nice, very thin, lightweight uh, formulas. The Merit is a stick and it's very luminous and dewy um, upon application. So I do want to use it more, but it's a very minimalistic kind of look, a kind of no makeup makeup. So I feel like it's a time and place and I'm going to keep it. I am going to take a disinfecting wipe and start wiping down because I do use the tops of my products as palettes sometimes. And this annoys me. So this is this has got to get a clean up. And so for powders, I'm going to just show you the ones that I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so for powders, this is what I've got going on that I'm keeping. So a couple drugstore products, some of the powders from Charlotte Tilbury, Kose's Cloud Set, and my Laura Geller. I love Laura Geller, so she stays. Uh, Givenchy stays. That one underneath is Dermablend. I'm going to try to use it. It's a banana color, so I don't have many. That's really, I think, my only yellow product for setting under the eye, so I'm going to keep it. Huda stays, of course. And e.l.f., I'm going to use more. I've only used it maybe once or twice. So I don't really know too much how I feel about it at this point. So I'm going to keep that. And then in the back, there's just a little lonely guy in the back. <laughs> well, hello, Bare Minerals, and goodbye. Okay, so real quickly, the Born This Way powder from Too Faced. This one actually makes me look like I've aged 10 years. 
like immediately upon application. It's just really, really bad. And this one, don't even get me started on this. This, I cannot stand. If I can get it to focus, the Brighten Up Powder. So it's a luminous powder. It's really, really pretty, you guys. But as I said earlier, the brand is shutting down, so there's no point in keeping the products because I can't repurchase. But I did really like this. Here's a few that I pulled from my makeup bag. The NARS Soft Matte Stays, and so does Pat McGrath. I love this powder for the under eyes. NARS Soft Matte Stays as well. So here's what it looks like. Mm. I think a little bit more organized. However, I didn't really declutter much from this drawer. So I'm not really doing very well with this, okay? I thought I would be able to just get rid of a lot of stuff, but I do have a lot of things that I just really love and I just can't part ways with it. So I'm gonna just take this as a win. I got rid of one, two, three powders, a couple correctors, concealers. So you know what? It's a win. I'm Okay, so here is this really hard to open drawer. It is very, very heavy and I don't think it's a good idea for me to have this much weight in this drawer. So I think I'm gonna have to start distributing some of this into another drawer. This is all my palettes, trios, eyeshadow products. Uh, it's a mess. It's a big, big mess and I do have to, I have to pare this down because this is kind of ridiculous. So yeah, it's, I try to organize it before, kind of organized but it's just really no 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 and no so i'm going to just kind of quickly show you some of the palettes um and tell you what they are these ethereal eyes from makeup of mario the persona identity which i like the mac this one here is one that i don't use that often i think i may have to declutter it they this one here is laura geller i don't think they sell this anymore but it's actually a really good formula um, these are ABH, so the Nouveau palette, which for me, it's honestly a love-hate. I'm just, just being real. I, I don't know. Some of the shades are great. Some of them are really difficult. The Cosmos is really pretty. And then this one is the Born This Way. This I don't really use that much, so I think I need to, um, I think it needs to go to my declutter pile. Yep. And here's what it looks like, just in case you have not seen it. It's pretty. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe using it might make its way back in my collection i have no idea i've got some natasha denona palettes these are all of my uh, charlotte tilbury i have the Surratt, which i love that stays these need to probably go this is pretty old here's what that looks like on the inside really pretty and i did use this quite a bit it's very soft very easy to work with matte shades that actually look kind of velvety on the eyes so i like their formula i just don't use it as much and it is a little bit on the older side. I've got some Natasha Denona. I love her formula. I have four of her palettes here. Um, this is NARS in the front, the Summer Unrated, which I really like. So the Natasha Denona ones are staying, absolutely. Just some other random palettes. Okay, this is a love of mine. Absolutely adore this palette. I've only used a few shades from this, but this is fairly recent from ColourPop, and I will be keeping it because the formula is actually pretty spectacular for the price point. It's no more than 12 bucks for this palette. Then I have this palette. This is the Dinesa Myricks Groundworks. I don't, I've never really shown this in a video. I've used it a couple times. I still need to continue testing it out. So if you wanna see this in a video, let me know. Here's some small ones. Okay, so here is a product from Rowan. I'm gonna declutter this palette. This is supposed to be like cream shadows, but it never really wowed me. I. I think I found this brand through an influencer on YouTube or something a long, long time ago. And I just, mm -mm, no. How old school is this, right? The Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, like, come on. This was actually one of the palettes that showed up on the Ulta bestsellers for eyeshadow. And I thought that was kind of interesting because Urban Decay had their moment with the Naked palettes and it just, they just keep reviving them. I don't know, but... I am gonna keep it for that video and I may have to just declutter it afterwards. For whatever reason, I think it's just too beautiful to throw away. This is a palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a few years old and this was 75 bucks. And not only is it expensive, but it's just so gorgeous, right? Like I, I gotta keep it, I can't, no, she stays. I have the Dior palette. I do like this and I use this for very easy everyday looks. I have some Tom Ford palettes back here that I really like as well. Okay, here is this. This is something that I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of because it's so expensive. I feel like that would be so bad of me to throw this away. <laughs> this is the Mothership 
from Pat McGrath. This is the Divine Rose. So I'm going to keep it and I guess just try to make it work. And maybe just use it on my personal time. Because I just don't like it. I, I cannot make these shadows blend and work for me. Now we're getting to some palettes that I probably do need to throw away. The Jaclyn palette. This is the collab that she did with her mom. This is actually a really nice palette. Let me show you. Um, that's what it looks like. And I actually did use this quite a bit. And I was I remember I was pregnant with my son when this came out. And I bought this. And I bought quite a few things from her brand at that point. But I think I'm just going to say sayonara. This was kind of a disappointment to me. And I haven't even used all of them. I haven't even swatched the majority of these shades. The Tarte Maneater palette. Um, again, I bought this when I was pregnant. And I went to Ulta after one of my appointments. And I was so excited to go shopping because I was by myself for that appointment. Picked this up because it looks so pretty on the display. but And the packaging is pretty. I love animal print. So, I don't know. I just, when I use one of the darker shades... It kind of blended away and I was left with more of a stained effect and no actual color. So it almost looked like I took black eyeshadow and like smudged it and then wore it all day, slept in it and woke up and just looked like a hot mess. That's what it looked like to me. So here's the inside of the palette. I've used some of them. I just, I don't know. And I don't know what's going on with these shades over here. Do you see that? I can't. This camera, I swear, this new iPhone is not that great. Okay, so do you see what's happening with heated and sundown? I have no clue, but I think that's just that's just saying that it's got to go. So the shade that I was talking about was the one called Nightfall. And that's like a really pretty chocolatey bronze. I love a good bronze eye. It's my favorite color to wear. And as you can see, it's kind of really dark in the center. When you blend that, it just goes to nothing. And this last one, uh, here is the Pat McGrath. This was actually a holiday palette from, I think, two years ago. And I haven't really used it that much. It's really pretty. And these actually do work better for me than the Mothership, which is bizarre because this wasn't as expensive as a Mothership. One more addition to the drawer is my 1111 that was on my vanity. So I'm trying to declutter and also clean at the same time. And it's kind of hard to do one-handed, but I'm doing it. Um, now it looks a little bit more organized. And I just threw in my face palette from Hourglass in there. And this was also in my little basket. It's a Makeup by Mario. This is the Nudes 1, the Foreplay Everyday Quad. This was good. I used it a lot when I was pregnant um, just because it's simple and quick and easy with the colors. And it was kind of like a natural look. But I haven't reached for this since I had my son. And he's like almost 18 months old at this point. So I think it's just time to say goodbye. And here's what the colors look like in case you are wondering. Look at the drawer a little bit better. Not quite 100%. But I did get rid of a few things that were taking up space. So I am happy that I found something to get rid of. Um, yeah, it's still a lot of stuff. I feel like the video is going to get pretty lengthy. So I think I will save the other side of my vanity for a second video. That's going to be eyeshadow, like cream shadows, mascaras, liners, um, bronzers, highlight, blush, lip products. So it's a lot of different categories. So that's going to be another long video that will be up um, so at some point. But I just wanted to share some of the stuff that I'm getting rid of and just kind of showing you how I'm organizing things and just kind of what stays and what goes. I don't know if this was helpful. If it is, let me know if you would like these and I can do them every time I do a cleaning video or a declutter. And that's it. Those are the products that I'm going to be parting with and just saying goodbye to products that just no longer make me happy, that I don't like, products that are old, expired, they just need to go. They've been taking up space for far too long and it's time to start tackling this and I hope that this was helpful. I feel like um, kind of seeing these types of videos may be helpful to see what people are keeping and what they're getting rid of because that does say a lot. If I'm keeping something, that must mean that I really love it. If I'm getting rid of it, then it's just not that great, right? So I hope it's helpful. I feel like this pile of products is pretty significant. Um, and it's sad to have to part ways with these, but some of these just don't work. Some of these are just not, just not good. And based off of my experience right now using some of these products, I feel like I am glad I did a tutorial using them because now I know that these products can truly go and I'm not going to miss a thing because I, I just don't reach for them. So I feel like it's just time. So anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today for organizing with me, decluttering my makeup with me. Take care, you guys, and I will catch you very soon. Bye-bye.